This week's 48 Hours investigates how a determined mother was able to find her daughter's body after 15 years without answers. In 2005, Christy Wilson disappeared from a Northern California casino, last seen with Mario Garcia, a man later convicted of her murder. Garcia never revealed where he left her. As Aaron Moriarty reports, with the help of two investigators, Wilson's mother finally got her answer. Last summer, investigators Nuno Tavares and Don Murchison, who work for the district attorney in Placer County, California, got a tip that led them to the former home of a convicted killer named Mario Garcia. The one thing Mario is is consistent. He's a consistent narcissistic manipulator. And Nuno says Garcia has been trying to manipulate detectives since he was found guilty of killing Christy Wilson, a young woman he met in a casino back in 2005. The 27-year-old was last seen leaving that night with Garcia, but he denied having anything to do with her disappearance. How could she simply disappear after she was with you? I don't have answers for that. Convinced Garcia was lying, Christy's mother, Debbie Boyd, went public. I want my daughter back, and I want her back now. Years passed, and in 2018, Garcia let Debbie know he wanted to be released early from his 59-year prison sentence, and she considered negotiating with him. I was sitting there thinking, what on earth are you doing, Debbie? Get a grip. This would be such a disgrace. He will not use my daughter's body as a bargaining chip. No one ever guessed that Garcia's own family would play a role in finding Christie's remains. In 2019, the investigators asked Garcia's eldest son, Chris, a teenager in 2005, about his father's movements in the days after Christie went missing. He saw his dad working on a tractor, working kind of frantically and had kind of a crazed look in his eyes. He was working around the property. Nuno said Chris never put two and two together, but detectives did, and last summer, they returned to the killer's former property. We started pulling back about 25 feet, pulling just a couple of inches at a time, went about 18 feet wide, and we stopped everything. We froze everything. We found Christy. This is a day that we had hoped for my prayers have been answered. We can now move forward without the torment of the past 15 years. Aaron Moriarty joins us now. Uh, Aaron, uh, beyond closure, which is a powerful motivator, why did Christie's family work so hard, her mother in particular, to find her remains? Well, Debbie Boyd told us that every single night for 15 years, she would go to bed saying, where did he put her? Where did he put her? I mean, he wanted to bury her. But there was also a legal reason. Remember, this was a no-body prosecution. There wasn't a lot of evidence against Mario Garcia, and he was filing appeal after appeal. If one of those appeals was heard and any evidence thrown out, he could have walked, and then she never yeah. would have found out. So there was real pressure to find out where Christy Wilson was. So you met Mario Garcia, the, the convicted killer in this case. What struck you most about him? Well, Tony, I'll tell you, he was good. Um, he had well-crafted answers for most everything. He was so credible that I have to be honest, I worried, and so did my producer, again, a no-body prosecution, that they had the right guy. Mm. But now this morning, as I sit here, I know that he was just an extremely good liar. Wow. Aaron Moriarty, thank you very much. <laughs> wow. I'm looking forward to that report. You can watch the full report the search for Christy Wilson on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 central right here on CBS.